Victoria is the second largest city in the province. We have about a half a million people. A third of our population is under the age of 19. We have a very diverse community as well. One of the things that our fire department is well known for, not only across the province, the country, but also internationally, is looking at different ways to be innovative, looking at different ways to ensure our community is safe. About a decade ago, the Surrey Fire Service started conducting evidence-based research in order to find solutions to its problems. The reason we did this is we wanted to become more strategic in deploying our resources in the city. Through this research, we commissioned the University of the Fraser Valley to conduct a 20-year analysis of our fire problems in the city of Surrey. What we discovered was that these fires are non-random. We discovered that they come from certain places and neighborhoods in our community and certain individuals that lived in those neighborhoods. We want to have a vibrant city. We want to make sure that our residents are safe and that we're on the cutting edge of implementing programs and technology, innovation. So all of those pieces really tie into the Home Safe program. Once we identify what the trends were, we started looking abroad and in North America for best practices. What the best practices told us was that smoke alarm giveaways contained with fire education actually made a difference. So armed with this information, we developed a program called HomeSafe. We started focusing on sending our crews door to door to deliver this information. Our HomeSafe program targets these neighborhoods that are most at risk. And to date, we visited nearly 40,000 homes in the city of Surrey and we've got fantastic results from that. The University of the Fraser Valley has been working with the Surrey Fire Service for several years now, conducting fire and public safety research. And this has produced the Home Safe program, which involved an analysis by both faculty and students of uh, almost 5,000 fires in Surrey over a 20-year period. As a result, it gave the Surrey Fire Service, a big picture perspective on what was happening in Surrey and where they needed to direct their resources. It shows that if cities want to make good decisions, they can rely on university research by both students and faculty to give them answers to real world problems and allow them to make decisions based on facts, not just assumptions. When the Surrey Firefighters Association was first approached about the Home Safe program, we saw it as a pretty unique approach to fire education. Typically, we set up a booth at a community fair and hand out brochures, but it's, it's unsure on how effective that really is. Whereas the Home Safe program, the crews went out in the district, they went door to door, they had that personal touch with the community on delivering the importance of fire safety and we really felt that, that really that connection was important on getting the people aware of, of the advantages of fire safety. As firefighters we see the uh, devastation caused by fires firsthand. so for us to partner with the fire chief on a program that we knew could reduce fires and protect life and property in the city, it was important for us to be part of that. When our fire hall receives a list of home safe addresses, we'll suspend training for one week and go visit those selected areas. If someone is home, we'll take the time to discuss how to prevent house fires and offer to inspect your smoke alarm. If you do not have a smoke alarm, we'll install one for free. If no one is home, we'll leave a fire prevention information packet at the door with an introductory letter from the fire chief and it will invite you to call our fire inspection branch for a free fire inspection. It has been very cost effective actually because we use firefighters that are already on duty and so that gives them an opportunity to connect with the community as well as their role and function as firefighters within the city of Surrey. And we make sure any of the hard costs are covered by either sponsorships and in fact the firefighters union has gotten into the program as well in terms of helping fund some of the hard costs.
The results have been significant because with the 40,000 homes that have been uh, visited, we've seen significant decrease in fires, uh, fire-related injuries and death. And the data shows that decrease that has taken place because that's all monitored as part of the measurement of the program. Every year in Canada, we still have on average about 600 Canadians that die from fire-related injuries. We're so proud at the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons to be partnering with the Surrey Fire Service. We now have a proven program that can make a difference in trying to eliminate the 600 preventable deaths that occur each year as a result of fire. So any fire department out there across the country that's serious about reducing death within their community would take a look at this program and just replicate it and put it in place to reduce this needless death that we see every year as a result of injury. I think the real value is multifaceted. When we look at the effectiveness of it, we look at the efficiency and cost aspect of it, but also that model can be replicated in any city anywhere across the country.